I think you can hear me now. Just to be sure, again, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, today we've got the Marietta College Pioneers taking on Western Kentucky University for their Week Six Collegiate League of Legends uh, season. Really excited to see what we've got going on today. But as usual, we got a couple things to go over real quick before we get started. Before picks and bands go underway. Again, uh, make sure to try to subscribe with Twitch Prime if you have not already. It gives you access to tons of subscriber benefits, custom emotes, and helps us out in the long run. Um, so if you have a, a Amazon Prime account already, you have the capabilities of getting a free Twitch Prime sub every month that you can use towards us and towards getting that pristine Matt Williamson head emote. We do have recruiting events still going on for the 2024-2025 recruiting class. Uh, we have scholarship tryouts coming up very soon next week. Speaking of which, if you're interested in one of those, uh, simply fill out our recruitment inquiry form, schedule a tryout uh, for that, um, as well as join our Discord server. All of those uh, forms can be found under our link tree at linktree uh, slash Marietta College. Once again, we also want to thank HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor for Marietta College Esports. If you're in the market for a new keyboard, mouse, headset, microphone, mouse pad, might I suggest HyperX? They've done us tremendously well and could not recommend them anymore. Um, big shout outs again to Over the Moon Pizza who support us in showcasing our matches to the local community and by offering our students a place to grab place or er, something to eat and some good entertainment as well. Also want to thank our other partners by Blue Light, Elgato, HyperX, Incrediware, Kovax, MSI, and Over the Moon. And it does look like we're getting into bands now, so. Looks like that initial Nico ban is out for the side of Western Kentucky. What did I do? Got Smolder being eliminated on the side of the Pioneers. Always a good shot to get the new character out. We do not want to deal with that. Twisted Fate on the opposing end. Syndra on the side of Marietta being banned. waiting for that third ban from the Western Kentucky side. It does look like it's going to be the Nocturne. Marietta's third ban incoming. It does look like the Blitzcrank will be their choice. Now on to the first selections being made. Volleybear on the side of Western Kentucky. Looks like Garen might be the first pick up top for the Pioneers. Locking in that top pick for Aiden. Always a good option. Now moving on to the ADC, it looks like we're going to be going to Kaisa for Radio Soul. Top rope. It's like on the side of Western Kentucky, they're going to go with the Ivern Leona picks. 
sending it back over to the pioneers. What will they have in store for us this time? The Morgana. I can only assume that that's going to be going mid and under the beautiful hands of Happier Cap. Back into the banning phase. Pioneers have 10 seconds to make that pick for them. Corky is going to be the ban fourth slot for the Pioneers. Simply awaiting Western Kentucky's fourth ban. Is the Viego. So. Scrimpo going to have his signature pick taken out from under him. Let's see what he decides to go for instead. The Huey ban on the side of the Pioneers, followed by a Seraphine ban from Western Kentucky. But I think little do they know that the Seraphine is normally going to be our APC. With the Kais already selected, we should be good on that end then. Ari being picked on the side of the Pioneers, followed by a quick gin pick on the side of Western Kentucky. And the final pick on the side of Western Kentucky does look like it's going to be the Oriana. 20 seconds for the Pioneers to make their final selections. Waiting on a jungle pick. Does look like the J4 might be the selection from Scrimpo. All right, let's see what the team is capable of doing with this composition. We are going to have to wait the stereotypical three minutes, I believe, in order for us to get into spectator mode. Oh, never mind. I would have been incorrect. Morgana is under the control of our Captain Maxibu and not our mid laner. Instead, Ari is going to be the pick for Happier Cat this time around. It is bring your daughter to work day on my end, so you'll have to bear with me on that, seeing the little cute one in the background. <laughs> Providing the entertainment while we wait for the stream delay to catch up on our end.
just under a minute and a half to go, ladies and gentlemen. Bear in mind, we're just waiting for the stream delay to catch up and for us to get actually into the match. Forty seconds to go, and the action will begin. All right, we're just simply waiting to get into the game here. All right. There we go. All right, everything should be squared on this end now. It does look like we have Scrimpo starting to clear all the bot side camps. They are Gatlin pushed up, unfortunately, under his tower along with our bot lane. And Western Kentucky with the first blood, unfortunately. Thank you. 
Pioneers are down 2-0 to zero to start at minute 345. They are getting, getting aggressive, unfortunately taking a lot of damage there and having to retreat. Bot lane pushing in as well as mid lane for the Pioneers. A happier Cat trying to finagle their way out of the situation. Good flash utilization there. Scrampo says, hey, I'm going to come at least help a little bit and maybe gain some space for you. Ivern does secure the kill on Ari. Next, can we at least tr make the trade? Yes, is made. Ivern up next. Scrimpo flashes out, unfortunately, unable to escape completely. Likewise for Maxi Boo from the looks of it. Five to one kill advantage in terms of the Western Kentucky. Happy Hat again trying to play a little bit aggressive in trades with their opponent. starting to clear those top camps again bot lane pushing in under opponent's tower mid lane a little bit in a stalemate the looks of a gank are in top lane right now unsuccessful scrimpo hovering top side as well they are getting looking to take the tp out potentially Question mark pings left and right on the pioneers trying to get a grasp as to where everybody is on the map for the opponent. AR Gatlin unfortunately pushed up a little bit too far and is going to face the might of Volley Bear Ivern. Ultimate has been used, however, to secure that kill alongside of Volley Bear. Seven to one. Looking at about a 4,000, 3,500 gold lead for the Hilltoppers at minute mm, seven. Plates are off for bot lane. They're about halfway done on their tower. Leona going in. Does look like the R was missed for Kaisa there from top rope. AR Gatlin spinning his way out of trouble there in the top lane. Does look like they're going to try to pounce on the Ariana here. The varying degrees of success traded. Ivern throwing out his ultimate as well. 
Can Jarvan make it back to tower? Nope, unfortunately they cannot. Ten to three kill counter in favor of Hilltoppers as of right now. Don't necessarily know the play going on right here, right now. Does look like we're gonna try to collapse on Leona. Western Kentucky looking incredibly strong right now. 12 to 3 score line at minute 10 and a half. Oriana is shut down there. Kaisa is unfortunately probably going to be traded in the process. Gank potentially uh, forming up top lane. Uh, they're just going to try to push him back a good bit. At least get him out from under the tower. Happy your cat's tower is still looking pretty strong at this moment. Aiden Gatlin's top lane tower, not so much. Does look like we're gonna have round simultaneous top and bot lane tower destructions. Bot lane. Lots of things happening, lots of alts being popped, flashes. Sixteen to four kill line at minute thirteen.
Do you have those void grubs spawning here in about six seconds? 10k gold lead in terms of Western Kentucky. Does look like they might potentially want to fight this Rift Herald. Or not, just choosing to back out now. Aiden Gatlin might be a little too far pushed up. Gonna have to quickly get out of there. This could spell the end for AR Gatlin. Likewise for top rope in the bot lane. 18 to 4 kill line for the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers at the moment. Showing an incredibly strong performance overall. able to make a sizable dent in that tier 2 tower for top lane. Great flash from Oriana there. Makes the Jarvan 4 ult basically null and void there, unfortunately. And Jin is able to secure the kill on Morgana. Likewise, on the end of Volibear, in the elimination of Garen. Are going to make a push for the mid-tier turret. Does look like some action may be developing up top. Volibear just able to tank 95% of what's coming at him, unfortunately. Yeah. 
23 to 4 is the kill line at m almost minute 19, ladies and gentlemen. Inhibitor turret in the top lane for the Pioneers looks to be getting ready to fall any moment now. I fear for the inhibitor itself as well. Half health, quarter, and eliminated. Does look like they're going to be going indeed for the Nexus Towers next. Large waves coming in. Ultimates coming out everywhere. Nexus turret down onto the next. And I do believe, ladies and gentlemen, that will be game. Being finished up around minute 20. 20 minutes, 33 seconds overall for the game in favor of Western Kentucky. All right, let me see if I can get things updated on this end real quick. And indeed, that was a, a dominant performance set up by Western Kentucky University. Uh, extremely strong uh, out the gate. So hopefully the Pioneers are able to work something out here in the next game. Other than that, we will see you here in just a couple minutes, ladies and gentlemen.
Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are back and band phase is underway. To start off, Pioneers again are going to go with the Smolder Volley Bear Blitzcrank Band, choosing Dr. Mundo and Seraphine to start. On the opposite side we have Samira, Gang or, uh, Nautilus, Gangplank with Nico, Twisted Fate, and Ari Bands. All right, back to the bands. Looks like we've got a Zyra pick for the Pioneers with a Syndra and Hue ban, while Western Kentucky is banned out our Morgana and Aurelia. Marion to College picks. Looks like Viego on this go around. Let's see if Trimpo can show us what he can do on that. Pantheon picked on the side of the Hilltoppers. And the final pick for Western Kentucky is going to be the Vladimir. Sending it on over to the Pioneers. 20 seconds to go for their final pick. I'm assuming we're going to go with a mid pick here. Could be wrong. And the Talia pick. And the players will begin to move things over into their proper positions. So Dr. Mundo versus Gangplank top. We will have a Viego versus Nautilus in jungle. Vladimir, Talia mid, Seraphine, Samir ADC, and in support we've got Zyra and Pantheon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and while we wait the three minute spectator delay, I will send you over to the Versus screen, throw on some music, that way you've got something to listen to, and not just some dead air for three minutes, so bear with me.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, let the games begin. Does look like they might be trying for an early invade on the side of Western Kentucky. Get our five points set up inside of the Pioneers. Hope for the best. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. Oh yes, they are indeed moving for that invade, it looks like. Good flash out from Seraphine. Hate to use the resource, but would rather spend it than be in respawn right now. Western Kentucky will be stealing bot side buff for Marietta. Scrimpo is going to be starting top side. It does look like they've got it warded on their side if they're go if he's going to try to steal theirs in in response, but we shall see. Talia versus Vladimir mid battle. Seraphine Zyra ADC pairing. Aiden Gatland on his signature Dr. Mundo. Hopefully, be a little bit more comfortable this round, not having to deal with that absolutely hyper aggressive volley bear. Quick first blood, 2 minutes 15 seconds for Western Kentucky. They did flash in for it. Maxi Boo is going to have to try her best to fend off that duo down there while her ADC comes back. Top rope was not even able to walk back into lane without being harassed from the Nautilus. Unfortunate, but that aggression is paying off for Western Kentucky. Happy your cat keeping their distance. Simply trying to clear wave. Only about a 500 gold difference between the two teams at minute four and a half approaching. Once again, just small skirmishes across the map. Only a single kill on the board at nearly minute five. Pioneers are able to hold their weight a little bit more this game compared to the last. It does look like they're trying to develop something here on the bot lane. We've got Nautilus as well as our jungler down here awaiting the play. TP coming out from mid.
That is a kill for T Guzzler on the side of WKU, but it is quickly answered for from a kill in the mid lane for Pioneers. There's a 3v1 quickly evened out. Lots of action going on in the mid lane. One for one trade. Make that a two for one on the side of the Pioneers. Three to three is the kill line. Minute six. They can hold their own a little bit longer. Get out of the laning phase. We will see what develops next. Not much going on right this very moment. Waiting for plays to develop. Big trade-offs and damage there from Talia and Vladimir in the mid lane. Looks like there might be a gank forming in the mid lane, potentially. At least the raptor is being stolen. And there it is, the hook. Scrimpo unfortunately not connecting there with the ultimate. Four to three at nine minutes in favor of the Hilltoppers. Little under a 2.5k gold lead for the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers going on right now. It's 4 to 3 kill line, minute 10. Lots of farming going on. 
does look like the bot lane will be transitioning towards mid. Happier Cat will need to watch themselves just in case. Especially with the alt of Pantheon coming in. Does look like Scrimpa will have the shutdown on the Gangplank. Unfortunately, our Dr. Mundo did fall in the process, so. Scoreline of five to four. Ultimate from Seraphine, question mark? No. Nautilus has been landing most of their hooks. Six to four kill line, minute eleven and a half. Grimpo going to be ran down on by the Nautilus. Hopefully he's able to catch up and eliminate him. Yep. Another kill, unfortunately, on Happier Cat. Void Grubs are going to go over to the side of Western Kentucky. Still around a 3,000 gold lead for Western Kentucky at the moment. Another kill secured for Western Kentucky. Eight to five. Does look like we're gonna try to fight the Nautilus. We are successful. Vladimir being very aggressive onto the Tolia. And that is the first turret at minute 1420 in favor of Western Kentucky. And that is a mid turret going down as well. Lots of pressure getting put up on that top lane, at least in Riverside.
pioneers looking to regain control in some aspect of the game. Dr. Mundo ultimate popped. Flashing out of the situation as well, trying to avoid the gangplank ultimate. And that is a dragon secured for Western Kentucky as well. Lesler again eliminating AR Gatlin and his Dr. Mundo. 12 to 6 score line at minute 1710 for the Pioneers. Pantheon oh, Alt. Those are all the tier one turrets down for the pioneers. Good flash there from Talia. Again, a very dominant showing out here from Western Kentucky today. Scrimpo able to escape, it looks like. Yes, four in the bot jungle for Pioneers. Rift Herald in the top lane for Western Kentucky. Pioneers will have to address that sooner rather than later. But at first they're gonna try to take out some of these problems in the bot lane. That is Pantheon and Nautilus down, but in turn we have traded the top tier 2 tower and some damage in our inhibitor tower. Hey, our guy hopefully able to come through. Clean up. Does look like they're gonna try to go up in and trap AR Gatland. Three to four people on him at the moment. Does not look like he's gonna be able to make it out of the situation alive. Baron on their way. Three pioneers in mid. Talia bot lane. Saying, I'm gonna get the heck out of here while I still can. And that is Baron in favor of Western Kentucky. Scoreline of 14 to 8, minute 20, 37. Scrimper was able to help out Flea there and avoid Vladimir kill. Pioneers restabilizing.
Scrimpo needs to watch out. Yeah, that was a quick, quick elimination when there's four of them in that jungle. will be dragon number two for Western Kentucky when they secure. It is Cloud Drake in favor of Western Kentucky. The three-man push down mid. Pioneers will have enough to fight. Every Pioneer, minus Talia in base. Talia looking to try to outplay and outmaneuver Vladimir, get back to their teammates. Inhibitor tower turret down for pioneers. 17 to 8, approaching minute 24. Inhibitor down in favor of Western Kentucky as well. That is two inhibitors down for the pioneers. All kinds of ultimates and abilities being spent in this fight. Pioneers are successful in taking out the Nautilus. They are Gatlin. Being quickly surrounded, however. Samira Flash in. Two kills from the Samira. Make that three. I fear this may be it for the Pioneers. Nexus turrets being attacked. Maxibu trying her best in order to fend off the uh, incoming attackers. There's one Nexus turret down, minute 2545. Another five seconds and Maxibu will no longer be alone. Dr. Mundo incoming. That is the second Nexus turret down for the Pioneers. They have to clear this wave as soon as possible to save their chances of this game and series. A 
And I do believe that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Victory for Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you for joining us today. Uh, no, it may not have been the results we were wanting. Uh, Pioneers falling to Western Kentucky 0-2. to two. Uh, Stay tuned. Uh, we may have more League of Legends action for you on this upcoming Monday. Let's uh, so just pay attention to our social media accounts, and we'll see if we can get any announcements out to you as soon as possible. But thank you again for joining us. Uh, enjoy the rest of your evenings, and I will see you all later.